I'm at obviously Newport show. I've just stayed in Water Lane last night. You wouldn't believe it, but the hotel was in Water Lane, 0.3 of a mile away. Yeah, sorry, three minutes away, 0.9 of a mile away. And look at this. So the site moved here, I think about 20 years ago. Main ring just sits in the bottom, nice and flat. There's a stunning lake. Got the, all the fancy marquees up here. And then you've got all the machinery all the way around and I have spotted, you can't see from it. Oh yeah, there it is. I think that's a 7 to 8 in blue. We'll have a look in a bit. It's a cracking spot though. Right, we've not got very far. We've got from that marquee to here. So we're at Harper Adams. And remember this? Lens light. So I think I showed you this last year when we were at the Highland Show. So it, it visited nearly every town probably in the UK last year. And that's what it's about. So, so Len took his took his own life, and his mum and dad wanted to raise awareness for mental health. A bit like what we did with the combine, and we did try and look if we could do it all together. But they were visiting a lot of places that we couldn't with the combine, so they left a few weeks later than us from I think John O'Groats and went everywhere. But 2,340 miles now that has travelled the length and breadth of the country. A little tiny diddy brush, that though a bronze Kubota. Burnt orange, it's pretty much similar colour to the Valter, isn't it? <laughs> if it was Peugeot, they'd call it Fire Dance. We just bumped into Harry on the Edwards and Farmer stand and he's uh, admiring his Q series. What do you think? What do you prefer, the Valter or the Fence? <laughs> Controversial. <laughs> There's a 7 to 8 over there, go and have a look at it. So this baler here. Oh, it's Caulfield stand. It's a good wrap in it. Lemkin. I think that's like what Martin's got, but Martin's is four meters. Yeah. We're at Spun Hill and we were saying, what, what's the difference with the spoons? So a meter by a meter square, if you put in 100 liters on per hectare, it's two tablespoons full of water. If you put in 200 on, it's four tablespoons of water per a square metre. Isn't that a really good like visual representation? So we've got pork pies here as well. So how do you pronounce it? Reekin. Reekin. So you don't say the W. Not wrecking. Um, Angela has been round the brewery to so the real country file. You will see it very soon. And look, lemoncello. That's that's very Italian, isn't it? It is, yes. Are they, are they, are they British lemons? <laughs> oh right! I bought one from IKEA once. Got all sorts of things here. You put it on ice cream, don't you? It's got citrus roses. There, there's rhubarb there. Martin likes gin. Oh yeah, I like gin. I like gin. I think rhubarb. Do you think rhubarb? Matches. Yeah, yeah. It's about 12.30 and the show is absolutely buzzing. It's just so full. I don't know how many people are here, but... So far, I've got down there and to there. I've got all that to do. All behind. All up on that bank. Oh, we had PR during, obviously just recently on our last menu because we changed the menu for seasons we had a pea, minty pea courgette soup now I, I'm not into food as much as Charlotte is but some people might recognise this lady here so using 2017 2016. 2016 the British Bake Off champion yep. so she's been here today doing some cooking um, I prefer the motorbikes behind them food <laughs> I see food as a waste of time I'd sort of I'd sort of take a pill every day and not have to waste time eating but, but these but two are foodies. You, I'm, I'm a foodie, and if you want to go to a pub, it's called the Green Man Inn. Evershult. Evershult, yep. which is in Woburn, by the way. Yeah, New Woburn. Oh, by the forest. Yeah. High centre park. Yes. By oh. Nebworth. 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 Nebwor
got RVT here, and they're also at Great Eccleston. Oh, he's just on the back flip and I missed it. Good view up here. This is a four row planter, a bit like Bill and Joe's, and I've just realised, because I've seen the drawbar in front, if you're doing four rows, the tractor straddles a row. So that means you have to tow it offset, otherwise the tyres would be driving over the beds. So that's what this linkage does here. And now I never realised that if you went to four, that happened. Unless you put a spading machine in the front of it, which I have seen in Holland, pulling one of them. And then over here, we've got... Um, this is like the one they had at Yorkshire Show, but instead of having tracks underneath it, it's got huge tyres and it's got a little tiny set of wheels. So that's basically when it goes on the road, it has to spread it, has to have enough axles to be legal. So then wheels drop down on the road to make it legal for road use in Europe. But they actually don't really do a lot other than hang around under the back. So it's a tug of war final and then the winner gets a barrow of booze. Oh, it's all in the technique. Let's pretend it's a quad track. Oh, they've got him. Oh, he's got the other way. Who let the dogs out? There's another one. Ooh, 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 ooh. No way, we just noticed everyone's coming to pet the dogs now. The, do the dogs are like having a field day. Yeah, this is what we need, isn't it, for Brookhouse? You must be Simon Dutton. <laughs> I said to come. <laughs> I thought that was blue, but it's grey. What that for a view, though? That's a view, that, isn't it? They've even put seats up here as well, so you can eat your dinner. It's nice, that, isn't it? That's purple, but then that one's red. Yeah, there's, there's a program on Netflix. I won't say what it's called because there's kids watching. But there's someone in it called Maeve. This is a stunt double. <laughs> yeah. She worked on the series. How clever is that? It gets better. She's got a YouTube channel called. I'm Olivia Butler and I talk about the love attraction. All <laughs> oh, right, you didn't say that a minute ago. You said it was about self development. All yeah, oh, right, okay. Yes, yeah, so go and find it. She's got 60 subscribers. <laughs> Let's get her to 100 by the end of today. I'll put a link below. <laughs> I'll have to find it now, won't I? It's, uh, it's, a, it's a yellow. Anytime. A yellow John Deere yellow, no farmers, no food gator. Next to a mini mini Kramer. The 6R on there as well. 155. A couple of Kramers on the tag stand. Alright. Little spinner on the back of a quad. We even found a Corvus as well, looking very shiny. Big sprayer on the back. It's handy, isn't it? That's what she needs for a sheep. Not a sheep, her um, horses. Malone mower as well. That's the same as what we've got. Yeah. Smart, that isn't it? And they're doubled up. Yeah. They both got side sides. We haven't just took the others off. Oh, it's you doing it? Oh, I thought it was set up. Uh, Where'd you get them tyres from? For go kart or something? Go -kart, yeah. Wow, oh, they've got a flatbed as well. We do dual wheels. Spud boxes. Spud boxes, flatbeds, tip and trailers. This fence here. This is what you want. We're working rear linkage. Actual rubber tyres as well. Yeah, fully. So then you uh, black yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not black though, is it? We could do black. <laughs> I thought you told you black. Oh, you got a front front independent wheelbase suspension. Oh, so we'll do 65k now as well. Yeah, you can do it if you want. <laughs> 
What's this one here now? Book rate. Working book rate. That's like child exploitation, isn't it? They could push up to the cows, couldn't they? Yeah. You could on the compost, they could have already got They're smart, them, aren't they? Oh, a Bailey as well. Well, it's a green trailer. <laughs> Same as the yellow ones. Oh, and it runs off Makita batteries? Yeah, that runs off Milwaukee. These are off Makita. We, we, oh, sorry, Milwaukee, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can run anything. No way. An actual fifth wheel. Yeah. That's in. <laughs> Proper that. And how have you made them? We just made a little hand baler. A little hand baler and pressed them out? Yeah. Hey, that's actually a real weight. <laughs> but it was plastic, yeah. That's what picks that plough up. Look at them mole boards. It's amazing. Proper flotation tyres. Yeah. Trying to make them as realistic. Well, I'm trying to get them probably to make them as realistic as possible. That's mega, that. Proper flies, 65k, isn't it? Suspension. Oh, hello. Hello. Watch this, watch this, watch this. You're going back in the shed already and then and then no lights on it. You can't knock off already. Hello. Would you we're just testing the axle loading yeah. now. <laughs> Press that pedal. I can't if you like it. Oh yeah. Watch the tree. Bye. I'm going. <laughs> I'll see you in the car park. All right. <laughs> oh, I've never driven a rate before. This is James in uh, 39 years. It's a barley fit, you're off. <laughs> oh, his dad's gone. Pre love country clothing, but we've missed it. Well, Charlotte's obsessed with Vinted at the moment, so it's like online. There we go. We haven't got anything to write the birthdays on, but there's a few girls here that are a bit tipsy that are going to do the birthday bumper, so off you go. Tom and Lucy Bullock, congratulations on your wedding day. So, really happy 11th there you go happy birthday everyone and anyone else whose birthday is today oh tony hall oh tony hall it's always tony hall's birthday what has tony done today what's his achievement today he made his own bed for the first time well done tony my last bit to do now uh, everyone seems to be packing up and Neil's daughter's found the Prosecco. <laughs> Cheers. I think she's been moving house or something. The geese are made up. They're like, right, let's go and raid the bins for half eaten sandwiches and chips. What a stand that view's got. That, what a view that stand's got. I'm sure we've seen that at every show we've been to, haven't we? It looks mean, though, doesn't it? 
all flat out on the way over. I think they're going to be here for the night, though. One said, why have you put your fence on a lion's tyres? Well, that's on a lion's tyres, and that's on a lion's tyres, and that is a big sprayer. Just looking at this, it's got retractable airline on the back and a hose reel. So that'll be good for blowing your nozzles out. And then they've got a big five ton to eight meter Merlot, which doesn't look that much bigger than ours. Oh, it does from this angle. And we've got some uh, drug students. This, this is a four row spud harvester as well, similar to that one, but made by AVR, it's green. The music going on over there. It's safe to say the show secretary is enjoying her day. Yeah. Spotted a hog low loader. Look at that for a, a view. Had an amazing day at New. I keep saying it wrong. Newport, Newport show. I keep. I keep wanting to say Telford because I, I thought I was going through Telford. But yeah, amazing day at Newport show. Really looked after us both. Brilliant one day show. There's such a good atmosphere because I think because it, it's a one day show. Yeah. No one's like tired for the next day. Um, the lads have had a good time at Great Eck, and the outro is amazing. A guy has dressed his cow up as a quad track. Thanks for watching. Anyway, if you made it this far, click like and watch the outro and I'll see you tomorrow at Great Egg. Take care. Bye.